Hello, Mary here coming to you from Riversbend Sanctuary. And today I want to talk about this beautiful oracle deck um, called Elizabeth on Earth. So it's just a little review. And I purchased this, um, I don't know, a month or two ago, probably two months ago. Time flies by, you know, and from Etsy. Now, this is a wonderful seller. Um, her name is Elizabeth. It's Elizabeth with an S instead of a Z. So Elizabeth on Earth. And she is a photographer and she takes um, her photographs and she does some beautiful art renditions with them. So um, all of these have started out as photographs, I believe. So very beautiful. And, you know, I ordered the deck from her and there was, I had um, one card that just got damaged in production and I reached out to her and she was amazing. She um, sent me that card, replaced, replaced that card and was very easy to work with. So again, I wanted to show you, this is about how it came. Now I have opened it and I've been using it. So it came like this um, and this beautiful, you know, ribbon and this card here. There was also, I believe, a handwritten note from her. Um, but I'm going to just show you, I'm going to open this and then I'll flip the camera so we can take a little easier look at how, um, how this works. So let me do that. I'm just going to put this going down so we can see. So what happens here? Um, is you know you she it comes it doesn't come with a box it comes with this um, beautiful uh, purple wrap and this card which I really like oh yes and this is has handwriting on it as well um, for Elizabeth on Earth and let's see so there is that information and again I found this on Etsy so now the wrapping um, I. <laughs> I have a mesa, so I've wrapped it a little differently, you know, which is really like this. And then you take that, um, you put those, and then you tuck it in. So that's how I store it. Of course, you can store it however you would like. But this artwork is very intuitive. There, She doesn't have too much on here. Um, so like here is the caged bird. Now, you know, you can use, of course, what she has. Uh, written there, but you don't have to. There are plenty of these that I have used um, without, you know, the writing. So unchartered, you know, there's, they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, the one that got me, <laughs> got me the most was um, actually the cover on Etsy, which I'll see if I can find. So, you know, there's just so many that, um, that you use your intuition really for. And the beautiful thing, when I first got this deck, I spent the evening um, with my husband and we went through them and really just showed like, okay, what do you see here? What are you in intuiting um, versus, you know, what, what uh, he was versus what I was? And, you know, some people are different. I've used these in live card readings that I do. And, you know, the beautiful thing is it really, you pick up on the energy of the person and each person can have a different meaning, you know, for the cards, of course. But, you know, as far as, as how this, car, this deck works, you know, in my experience with it, it is more right on. Like this card, I remember in one of the um, Saturday Live readings I did that, that there was the message, a message came quite clearly through about what this meant to the person. And, you know, it was right on. So sometimes with these, because it is all basically using your intuition, you know, this, this could be finally letting loose and, and um, letting your ideas transform into something different. You know, there's all kinds of things that you could really relate this to. Um, but it's, it's been more, I've had more spot on type of readings with these cards than with any others like this. This is beautiful. You know, you think she has empty nest here. Well, what does that really mean? You know, when you look at it, is it, you know, you think empty nest, like kids are moved out or do you think, you know, you finally allowed all of the, um, the cobwebs and brambles to, to leave your surroundings, your head. Uh, maybe you're free right? Is it a freedom? Is it a, um, that, you know, you do feel lost because things are different. You know, where, where is that empty nest there? Is it that, you know, you finally had your wings and you can, you can go, um, you know, so this, is this like, like the hanged man here, or is this like the hermit, you know, the contemplation, 
Where, what, what is this to you? So that's what I love about these. I'm just going to flip, keep flipping through so you can see these cards. They're absolutely divine. Um, like I said, they're very easy to, to, uh, to read. Uh, you don't need, there is no book. It comes with no book, which I do not believe is needed. Um, some of them are, are definitely, um, some of them are, are more in your face, like what intuitive hits than others. Um, Oh, here, the funny thing, here's the one that, uh, not this specific card, because I, I think it might be in here, but the rough patch, that's the hilarious part is this was the card that, um, that had the little dinged edge that she replaced for me. Isn't this one beautiful? Um, there's just so many cool things here. Let me... So let me know what you think of this deck. Um, uh, the sea spirit ones are beautiful. So, you know, she also let me know, um, I had a few messages with the artist. She does, um, you know, actual art that is in some art galleries. And surprisingly, you know, she's not from the Midwest, but uh, she had let me know um, that that there was, she was in an art gallery in Door County, which isn't too far from me. This one, isn't this one interesting? What does this mean? right? What do you feel from this? Really looking at it. I love how these cards really help you to um, increase your, your intuition. You know, you don't need anything else. You know, you don't, you don't need that writing even on the bottom. You know, this is what waiting for a phone call. But what do you just take that out? What does this mean to you? Is it the disturbance from, from all of our technology, from things? This is, now this is the card I was waiting on. This is what sold this deck because I'm a book lover. I absolutely love books. Um, my mom was a librarian growing up and I always have books, just beautiful and getting lost. You know, I love getting lost in, in, um, in the stories, feeling like you're, you're somewhere else. And this cup of tea is funny too. So, and I love thinking that these are actually pictures that she has, you know, digitally altered. And I think that is really cool. So let me just go through some of these. Now, card quality, it's better than um, like Brian Fraud's uh, Fairy Oracle, but it is, you know, yeah, it is quite a bit better than that one. So not too bad. Um, I don't know if I would shuffle, like do the actual bridge shuffling with them too much. Um, but they do seem eh, pretty, pretty similar to a lot of cards this size. Um, isn't that beautiful? Uh, isn't, look at this. See, here's another just beautiful one. You know, what, what is the beauty here? The beauty is, is everywhere. Um, here, this one, you know, that's, she has it as the fledgling, but you know, is it the fool? You know, what, how do you relate this? So I'll just go in this, the kaleidoscope too. This is like, finally, finally, I see it as you're finally releasing that cloak that just held you back and you're able to just be yourself and really flourish and transform into the beauty and the sereneness that you actually are, you know, and to be able to figure out where you're actually going. Um, here's another one. And this one I love too. It's like that freedom, letting go. All right. So there's quite a bit. Now this one's a little odd, isn't it? This is the only one that's kind of got that, oh, what does this mean? Does this mean that, that you have, um, you know, all kinds of your ancestors surrounding you, waiting on you, or is it a little creepy, you know? So some people look at that one different. Look at that. See me. <laughs> see, they're just beautiful. And this is beautiful too. You know, what do you see? What do you see here? What do you see when you go into the woods too is another one. Here's another one of those beautiful sea spirits. So again, there's, there's quite a few cards here. Um, we're, we're not, we got quite a few left here. So um, I will just keep going through so you can see each. Um, here is that one that came with, um, that small card that came with the deck. Um, so in plain sight, you know, and some of these, these are just beautiful here. You know, what, it, what's there? Is that really telling you that, that, um, you know, what, what you want and what you want to hear, the messages are right inside you. Um, this is a little, you know, darkness, cloudy, a little lost, right? Are you lost? Um, self-empowerment, you know, we've got so many beautiful things. 
to look through here. Oh, I love this one too. That's like that. This reminds me of, of the playful when you feel just, just um, confident and powerful and like going out and playing in the snow kind of thing. Um, imagine, look at this. This reminds me um, of, you know, focusing on what is, you know, right in front of you, but not really being open to what surrounds you. So here's this. So again, just a very beautiful deck. Um, I have used it for even my morning, um, you know, three card, day's energy, what to focus on, what to avoid. Um, I pulled it just for a one card. Um, like I said I've used it in my Saturday live uh, card readings. And it's just been a, a wonderful, wonderfully intuitive deck. It's one of my favorite Oracle decks. Um, I would have to say, I mean, if she did a tarot deck, I'd be right on it. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, kindred, look at. So, and some of this energy too. Now I'm a nature nut as well. So because, because these are very nature um, sensitive, there's also a lot that, that can be intuited just from the surroundings. So it's not necessarily the object or the person, but what is the you know, what are the surroundings? Where in nature? Where where are the cards? Like, look at this one and see the haziness. You know, it's it's um it's different. What is see this one? You look at this. Um, look at the darkness. She's looking behind in the past, right? Which is what it looks like. She's walking away possibly from from her past. And is there sadness there? Um, you know, and she's going, where is she going? Is she going towards the light? But look at, see the gray clouds. So you look at what's, what's in the entire picture when you're reading these and, and just beautiful. So that is the deck. Like I said, there's a lot of cards here. I did not count how many, um, Elizabeth on earth. You can find them on Etsy, Elizabeth with an S instead of a Z. And that is about it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I can also link it as well. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this review of Elizabeth on Earth.